Hello, everybody. Welcome back to West of Loathing. My name is Bear. Thank you very much for tuning in yet again for another episode of this fine, fine game. It's been a great time. Hope you all have had a good time with me as well. You know, I think it might be time to sleep. It's been about three weeks, I think, in real time since my character has uh, gone to bed. I'm really reluctant to do it because I'm losing out on all of our bonuses, of course. But I'm pretty sure that's the only way I'm actually able going or uh, actually going to be able to acquire the logging permit in Breadwood. So I think I might have to do that. But uh, for now, I don't, I don't necessarily have to do it immediately. We do have Wasco's Comedy Shack that we haven't checked out yet, and uh, folks in the comments are letting me know apparently we need some sort of glass sphere. Uh, in order to perform the ritual in the Dave Yard, I think it is, over here. So that's what we got going on with the El Vibrato stuff. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that necessarily just now. Oh, apparently maybe I would if I had this. Your El Vibrato transponder leads you toward a darkened grove of trees. You steer Gorse into it to investigate, and you discover that the reason the grove is dark is because there's one of those El Vibrato monoliths inside, and then the monolith is dark because it's not turned on. How do I get a, uh, how do I get a battery? Funny, ha ha! Yuck yuck jokes, oh my! Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Well, howdy, howdy, howdy! Wasco Shafter's the name and comedy's the game. Are you here for a real thigh slapping good time? Y yeah, I am. You hand over the meat and Wasco clears his throat. <laughs> okay, so a skeleton walks into a bar and the bartender says, wait, 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 it's a horse, not a skeleton, sorry. Anyway, after that, the bartender asks the horse, uh, uh, hey, why is your face so long, buddy? Oh, come on, Wasco. Come, really, man? Here we go. All right, a guy walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve goblins here. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot to mention the guy is a goblin. Yeah, anyway, uh, uh, the end. Wasco takes a bow. Come on, Wasco. All right, here's a good one. Take my wife, please. There is an awkward silence. <laughs> please? Want to hear another one? Y yeah. Anyway, I I just flew in from Canada, which is weird, right? Because people can't fly, except for in balloons or gliders, I guess. We won't have actual airplanes for at least another couple of decades, anyway. <laughs> Wasco, you're real bad at this. What? No, I'm not. You're you're bad at the stuff you do. Dumb things, probably. This is about what it sounds like when my YouTube comments tell me I'm bad at games. That's my response. Hit me. All right, so a guy walks into a bar and he asks for a beer and a mop, and the bartender says, "What's the mop for?" And the guy replies, "Cause I'm a skeleton." Uh, I can't not do this. Boy, it was really, really cold <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> it's just a statement. Oh, I'm supposed to ask him how cold it was, and he takes a bow. <laughs> Here's a classic. What walks on four legs in the morning, and two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? A man, but um, badoom, that's not how a rim shot goes either. You seriously, you aren't good at comedy. Shut up, I'm great at jokes. No, you aren't. Well, what about my your timing is terrible? Timing. All right, hit me. So my uncle Alex thinks he's a chicken, and my wife suggested we should take him to see a psychiatrist, and I said maybe we should take him to a regular doctor, because I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be possible for a regular human man to lay eggs. Is that a... I wonder if that's really a good joke, and I just don't understand it. I got a job as a manager on a baseball team, and all the players have weird names. Like, there's this one guy literally named Who, and another one called... <laughs> oh, no. Third base! No! Wasco. Wasco. I can't stop doing this. He wants me... I'm telling you sincerely, you should... All right, all right, fine, I admit it. I can't tell jokes worth a darn. What else am I supposed to do, though? You're a pretty decent banjo player. The jewel in Dirtwater could use a banjo. Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Can't be much worse. He, can't, he packs his belongings into his hat and waves goodbye before heading out. Meanwhile, a mysterious ghost banjo player continues to... create these wonderful melodies for us in, in his uh, absence. That's fantastic. Apparently there's nothing else to do in Wasco's Comedy Shack. Well, there we go. You know any good jokes, Pete? Oh, I sure! These three fellas, a man or a surveyor and a blacksmith, they all walk into a bar and order beers. I'm out of drinking when you know it, but a dang parrot flies right in through the window and perches on the tap. And the parrot orders a beer, too. And the bartender says, Hey, we don't serve no goddamn parrots in here. And, uh, um, yeah? 
In a can shandy that forget the punchline. Ah, oh, it was such a good setup, too. Damn it. I guess comedy doesn't exist in this game. Let's get out of here. Well, that was a good use of my time. All right. Let's head back over here to the professor's house. Actually, I know I need to go back over to the Lost Dutch Oven Mine again. There's something going on with this place that I gotta figure out. And I may not run into, into, uh... Oh! I gotta stop saying I'm not gonna run into stuff. Or keep saying it so it keeps happening. Your El Vibrato bleeps and you follow the signal because of course you do. Why wouldn't you? One reason why you might not is that it led you to a hulking robot that could easily pound you into a scrap. Oh, that's not that bad. Come on now, you exaggerate. Ridiculous. Got it. Point two and El Vibrato scraps. Hooray. Still fairly valuable, I suppose. So, uh... So I won't pretend not to know the, uh, the parameters of the, or the, of the mission here. Apparently, what you need to do is, uh, avoid interactions with anything in this place. That is supposedly the, uh, the M.O. And then I guess by the time you get to the end of it, you'll be able to interact with the wall? Which has been the, th the, the thing that's been kind of eluding me all this time. I don't know if I need to avoid, like, every single thing. I'm gonna do my best, though, if I have that option. Because perhaps it is just like a... Oh, yeah. This pile was pretty obviously made on purpose. Closer inspection reveals that the stones are mortared together. What could be hidden in here? Uh, I guess it does Oh, talk the rocks into leaving. You are one smooth talker. Yes, I am. There's a trape trapezoidal piece missing from this weird crossbar thing. I do not have that. All right. But that was apparently, yeah, see, it's starting to give you the, the context clues when you start to interact with stuff. You have to get out of this pit right now. Yeah, it doesn't want to, doesn't want to let you do anything. So that was the, that was the objective. It's just to avoid uh, seeing any of this stuff. There we go. So we got that. And uh, now, now what do we have to do? Perhaps head back to the professor, I think. And I probably don't need to go all the way back up through the Lost Dutch Oven Mine to do so, because this was what he told us to do. I suppose he may have a particular item we need now. You spy a burned-out ranch house on the horizon and pull Gorse up to investigate. There's nothing much of interest above ground, but you find a locked door leading down to a presumably still intact root cellar. Once you're inside, you're not sure why they even bothered locking it. It's been picked clean of everything but a tiny amount of food and an even tinier amount of medicine. That's a good amount of stuff. Spapa real a la is this all stacking as one item, or are they all creating their own individual stacks? I hope so. Just fill my inventory with all kinds of different spellings of sarsaparilla. That would be wonderful. Alright, do we have anything, anything to forage here? I don't think so. Oh, Professor! Still examining something, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I do need another keystone, right? I do, do I need more than one? Do I still have the other one we had? Hold on, let me sort by, uh... Spelling here. Get the one there. No, we don't. Okay. So that may be, uh, you know, we, that might be what we need, actually. Let me head back there into the Dutch oven mine and see if maybe that's going to be the answer to my, uh, to my problem here. You see a wagon broken down by the side of the road. Well, if we're being honest, it's, it's getting attacked by horrible monsters is probably more likely than, or what happened, than a simple mechanical failure. You dismount and investigate, most of the easy pickings have predictably already been picked easily, but there's still a safe in there that was presumably too heavy for the scavengers to move. Wow! And a stock certificate. I gotta remember, remember I got all these stock certificates I gotta cash in. I'm friggin' loaded, man. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't have to actually avoid interaction with things anymore. Just go ahead and pop on down here. Boop. And if this keystone is not going to be what uh, unlocks further potential here, I suppose I could go back, try all the other El Vibrato places again, maybe go back to the Dave Yard, because I, I don't actually know how to get the glass sphere. I just know that apparently that's the, uh, the object I need. Let me check this. There we go. There's a keystone. Enter the portal. Did that say Snick? As, like, an expression of enthusiasm? Oh, Snick. That was awesome. Oh, wait. What's inside? Og, oh, no! You have learned the El Vibrato word for toilet. Well, that's convenient. Nakoro Pacha Nanokbe Zevosom Quickgate Puchazeve. The monolith is dark. Oh, you can put another keystone there, I bet. You bend over to examine the device and accidentally stub your toe on it. 
It hurts, but the box moves. It must be lighter than it looks. El vibrato device. Oh. Well, all right then. We need to put another keystone down here as well. The circu There's a circular hole in the bottom, okay. No keyhole or handles or anything. The strange device has three buttons on top of it. Sure. Oh, those things aren't friendly. This strange, to oh, all three of them are sunk into the device and unpushable, so I guess we just do this one at a time. All right, well, goodbye. Yay. More scraps. All right, then. Second one. Spawns three, and then the third one spawns five, I'm sure. This is perhaps just an easy way to uh, gain a whole bunch of... Gain a whole bunch of good old-fashioned experience and or El Vibrato scraps all at once. In fact, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. All right, go ahead, buddy. Do your thing. I was wondering what kind of attacks they would have. I was hoping it'd be something fancy, but no, they're just gonna go thwack us. Bean Golem style. Still haven't made the biggest Bean Golem, by the way. I might have to do that before we end this whole West of Lothen business. All right, well, just out of curiosity, Gotta see what happens here, and I can pretty easily take these guys down anyway. Take all the mysticality, baby. Summon you. And, uh, I mean, I don't want to waste any smelling salts on this. Let's just go ahead and hit him with this thing. Let Pete do the- oh, wait, yeah, we can just finish him off this way, duh. There we go. Yeah, that thing can actually deal some damage. Kudos to you. More scraps and a punch card. Totally worth it. Hooray. A little bit more experience, too. How close was I to this? This is going to be another... Oh, yeah, a thousand experience. Okay, I don't know if I'm actually going to end up doing that. Maybe I'll get another punch card if I do this one more time. I'd say it's worth a shot. Uh, I don't think I actually need to summon you. If I do this instead, use these two, I bet I'll get enough mysticality to, uh, to just kill him outright. Let's find out. We're all going to be stunned, obviously. Do we get it? I think we do. Ooh, close. Got the lantern to finish him off, though. Sweet. Another punch card? Nice! Ooh, man. I mean... It's so easy to kill him. Why would I not do this, right? Boost, mysticality boost. Stun attack. Spooky damage. Take him all out next turn. Free El Vibrato punch cards for life. Punch pards is a different word, close to a very bad word. Ooh, a complicated one. Two punch cards that time. Oh snap, is it gonna get even better? I would love that. We gotta push our luck a little bit here, I guess. Cause this is just a foolproof plan anyway, as far as I can tell. Come on now. You're not gonna change the formula up on me, are ya? Is this better? Probably not. Oh, baby. Look at that. It keeps coming, man. More complicated punch cards. I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. This, this is so good. We're just gonna learn it all. This might be like that sort of end game fill in and all the blanks fight, you know? This might be exactly the purpose of this thing is to provide you the opportunity to learn whatever words you have not acquired through the course of the game. Two more. All right, let's hold off there for now. Maybe go learn a bunch of new words if I can. That's not gonna do it for me though, obviously. I don't think I can actually learn them here. I think I still need to go over to the, uh... Yeah, I think I need to go back over to the well in order to do this, let's do it. I gotta go back to the professor as well, obviously. I'm gonna try to run into uh, other areas as well, especially over here in the west. I bet there's uh, some more places we can check out. All right, let's do this shit. Learn some languages. Small punch card. Equipment, construction, and power. That's pretty good. East and online. Okay, I like it. Increase coffee maker, clothing. Very good. Cash, destination, organic. Some of these words seem... Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's a good set. That's going to help us out. Headwear, adjust... Yeah, that's going to be good too. Primary, solar, large punch card, fabrication, extraterrestrial. Positronic and Magnitude, these are very interesting choices. All right, that might help us out quite a bit, actually. Still don't know what those two are. Maybe it's like translation 
But I thought it might be machine as well. Oh, of course, wait a minute. I already know all these, don't I? Probably doesn't matter too much. Okay. Let's go talk to the professor. Seems like the most, uh, the most prudent move at the moment. He does want to check out this new device, after all. You encounter a bandit who doesn't look very bandit-like due to the lab coat and slide rule holster. Fortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat, otherwise you might not have been able to tell. Alright, Buster, this is a stick-up. Hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you out and leave instead? I'd like to see you try, because I've invented an anti-punching ring, and that would help me test it. An anti-punching ring? How interesting. May I have a look? Are you using a positive matrix force field? Positive matrix? No, it's stigma field derived. Sigma, oh, that won't do it all. I mean, it'll soak some kinetic, kinetic force, sure, but as soon as things get heavy, that's gonna overheat and burn your finger off. Oh, geez, really? I hadn't thought of that. Back to the drawing board, I guess. She tosses you the ring and turns to leave. A ring of moderate unpunchability. Well, all right, cool. 11 experience to boot. Hallelujah. Professor, what do you got for me, pal? Tell me it's good. Show him the strange device. I found a thing? Great, let's see. I have a marvelous find. Each device makes batteries. Or will once I fixed it. Batteries? Yep. The other Bratones powered their portable equipment with little electric marbles. Like the one I put in your transponder. I'm sure I don't have to tell you a regular source of those will be incredibly useful. Sweet. Well, there we go. Goody. All right, let's go back to the Lost Dutch Oven Mine, I guess. I kind of want to make one more. Uh, let's make another keystone, too. I think I needed that back there as well. Let's make one more. Let's make one more. Let's just be safe about it. Okay, cool. Now we do it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. More distractions? Anything? I'll take it. I'll take whatever you want to throw my way. Down into the stank again. This place has been a, a uh, strangely reoccurring location. I suppose it is acting as sort of the hub of a lot of El, El Vibrato activity, after all. And that weird rock formation ended up being kind of a deterrent for a very long time, so I suppose it makes sense. Mostly because I didn't really realize what was going on with the interactions there. Alright, let's go ahead and toss this keystone into this place. Oh! Strange cloth inside, at least it feels more or less like cloth, an El Vibrato loop. Slightly bigger around than your head. Okay. So let's see here. Where did we need the battery again? There it is. You insert the battery into the monolith and it springs to life. Everything goes blue for a second. You're chock full of El Vibrato energy and you feel like you could take on the whole world. Partly because you're stronger and smarter and faster, but partly because you're also overconfident. It's not that big of a boost. It's a slow and insidious killer, don't you know? Insert power sphere. The machine is dark. There's a circular hole in the bottom. The machine hums to life. It says Quick Gate Cuscro and there's a button at the bottom labeled Josef Quick Gate. Probably like activate Quick Gate? Quick Gate Online. Quick Gate, oh, that's the word for offline, probably. Well, okay then. I like it. Let's go. El Vibrato Ruin. The machine on this side of that weird transport thing is busted. Piece here that's pretty obviously broken. Big cylinder on top of this big rectangle, an El Vibrato cylinder. Cave in looks like it happened a long time ago. Ooh, fancy. Central Positronic Zevsom Kuskro. Replace it. Purring like a kitten. Apparently functional again. Seems like it's uh all going just fine now. I'm gonna go, right? Nothing else to do here, yeah. I've got a spittoon on my head for all this. It's kind of taken away from the seriousness of the situation a bit. Maybe I should try to go over here now that this is not blocked off. No, okay. Well, uh, I guess we open a quick gate. That's all that does? Alright. Maybe there's something else going on with that. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go talk to the professor again. Tell him we opened up a quick gate to a lost ruin of unknown location slash origin. See if he makes anything of that. No, he does not. Well, I'm left to my own devices to solve this problem, am I? I already had a second battery, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I didn't need another one of those. 
Or no, I didn't. Maybe that's what I needed over there. Okay, hold on. For my own curiosity, just to sate this uh, unnatural inclination, one more time down into the Lost Dutch Oven mine. There's got to be a shorter way to do this. I've made this walk three times already in here. I'm hoping I didn't just need another... What was it? Another one of these batteries to get me through this. Let's go see, though. Just real fast. Just real quick, like. Gotta know. Gotta know. In we go. Okay. Open the quick gate. Activate quick gate. Did we need this for something else? No, we did not. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. So what do we do then? Let me check with, uh... Well, I mean, I could sleep. I was talking about doing that, and then we could maybe, uh... I don't know, maybe the passage of time would actually open up some sort of... opportunity for me. Maybe I should go back to the deepest delve. Oh, you know what? There was a random encounter over here that required a battery, right? So maybe that's what we need to look for. Maybe if I wander over here, it'll find that for me. That's probably what I ought to try out. I'm gonna go down to level 4 again and see if there was... I don't think there was anything down here that required a battery or anything like that, right? I don't think this was an El Vibrato centric place. But I think I'm, I'm gonna go back out and like wander out around out here. See if I can't uh, help myself out that way. Or did I need something else down here? Maybe another battery? West Roberto Fuchafasta Power Kuskru. Oh, this is offline, right? Positronic resonator detected. West and East are offline. Ooh, I need to learn some more. Maybe I do need to go fight some more Evil Brado and just so I can learn the words and understand fully what's going on here. It probably wouldn't be a terrible use, to my, use of my time. Maybe do like two or three more of those fights since they're f so quick anyway. Let me try wandering a couple of times just in case this solves my problem. You see wisps, ooh, wisps of smoke rising above the pines nearby and spur Gorse over to investigate. The source is a little shop nestled deep in the forest, almost as though the proprietor doesn't want customers to find it. You jot the location down on your map so you don't forget where it is. Go there now. Hallow Halloway's Hideaway. Interesting. Oh, whoops. Uh, hold on, I gotta shovel your shits, man. It's nasty work and you're not entirely sure why you're doing it all the way out here in the near wilderness. I mean, you gotta get it all up. You give me, you give me five squirrel droppings in a row. I gotta scoop them, bud. There you go. Uh, howdy, name's Halloway. Have Halloway. Sorry for the chitin' ray, and I seen another person in a long time. It's not surprising. This place is pretty secluded. What do you do here? Mostly, I sell pine cones to squirrels. He frowns. Uh, let me see what you're selling. Okay. Yeah, this is wow. Let's buy a pine cone for 45 meat. Well, hold on there. Let me go ahead and sell you a few stock certificates real quick, because I'm sure you've got the meat to supplement this purchase for yourself, right? I'm sure you're doing just fine with your business. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to do it for me, actually. I'm way too rich. I guess I could sell that one, too. And maybe even the super dense coal. These two have just been sitting in my inventory for a while as well. Uh, you'll never wear this, but maybe you'll find a child that needs help getting ready for a funeral. Totally. I imagine that'll probably happen soon. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess that's all we really need apart from this pine cone that I obviously need to buy. And then, why not go ahead and buy a few needles as well? There we go. Cool. Alright, well that was weird. You got anything else going on? Probably not. See you later. Alright, man, well that was a depressing find. Just a shop. Just a shop with nothing. Okay, goodbye. Let's try wandering again, maybe find something a little more encouraging than that. There we go. Your transponder beeps, indicating a spot to the east of where you're riding now. You nudge Gorse in that direction, following the signal until you encounter a cavernous opening in the foothills. Curious false mountain. That seems good to me. More foraging? Yes, sir. Blossom gin. Sweet. Oh, that's El Vibrato for sure. For sure, man. I recognize that ominous tone anywhere. You could probably plug all those holes, holes if you were strong enough. What did it say before? A shove here, a push there, and the whole stack collapses in on itself. Hooray! I gotta stop moving too quick so I don't miss the first messages. Something strange about these rocks. Some of these rocks aren't real! Oh my god. Hello. 
The thing has a job to do and it isn't going to take any of your guff. Put that guff right back in the bag and make sure you use the twist tie so it doesn't get stale. Or maybe buy one of those clips that you can put on your bread. You know, after you take the clip off originally, you can put these clips on. They're plastic. They're really nice. They seal the air in real tight. Attack it! 174. All right, so... Gonna be a little tougher. We'll try a bean wall here. Bean golem as well. I'll we'll probably just hit him with three lava favas. Sounds good to me. Might boost my own stats. Oh, he doesn't deal nearly as, no as much damage as I want him to. So yeah, stat boost sounds good to me right now. He's just gonna hit the bean wall, it seems. Ooh, man. He's a tough son of a bitch, isn't he? Okay. Let's see here. I could do this, stun him and let these two attempt to attack him a couple more times, boost my stats as well, make myself stronger for the next attack. And that would save me, uh, oh no, that costs the remainder of my action points. No, I think I'm better off just doing this. And then Pete will make me a little stronger for the next attack and that should do it. There we go, he's just been going bean wall. Yeah, we're all set. Let's do it. Bam! Nailed it! Whatever was guarding, whatever, whatever that thing was guarding was worth the trouble. El Vibrato scraps. Hopefully, let's find out. Another portal. Hell yeah. Well, hold on. I gotta see if there's anything to the right of this. Gotta find out. There is. Definitely one of the largest hexagons you've ever seen. Nothing in the back of it? Okay. I had a feeling there was a little bit more going on over here, though. Cylindrical piece here, obviously very broken. Power just keeps flashing. Power offline. Let's see here. Anything going on in the front of this? No. Insert battery. You insert the battery, springs to life, refreshment and disposal, I gain another energized perk. 150 more experience. Okay then. What's going on with this now, nothing? Power offline still, yeah, I think I need another one of these, right? Okay. Okay then. I should probably just make myself a bunch of batteries. It seems like there's gonna be a pretty common uh, necessity at this point. Good find, though, and I'm really glad I didn't rest before going in here, because I obviously needed those, uh, extremely high stats to be able to do anything in here. Alright. What do you think, Pete? Yeah, I mean, it's caving natural. It doesn't look particularly spooky or, spooky or anything, it's just a cave. Yeah, I mean, literally. This ain't a natural rock formation. Someone stacked up a giant pile of boulders and rocks and such and left a cave in the middle. That's, I mean, this is a pretty big pile, small for a mountain, I guess, but big enough to still call it one. Who would haul that many rocks somewhere and pile them up? Someone who's got a lot of rocks, they went somewhere else, I guess. Indeed. Ooh, hey, another gin blossom, right? Nice. Furraging. Furraging feels good, man. Oh my god, I could actually get my bean golem. Look at that. A thousand experience, holy shit. Well... I should probably get more exp or more AP, right, so I can do all kinds of crazy stuff in the middle of the fights. Let's do that. Let's get two more and then maybe upgrade, like, uh... I don't know about Great Northern Blizzard. I want to I want to upgrade... Use the old bean, right, to make all of my skills more effective. And it stays at the same cost, so this seems like a pretty damn good idea. I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe not the final level, because that's a pretty big experience cost. And then let's look at what else we can get going on here. Maybe you want to increase my capacity again. More grit might be nice to keep me alive further. Dickerin probably will not see any upgrades ever. ever. Hellbender makes sense. And is also not that expensive. Let's go ahead and take that for a quick little power up. Blood beans is eh, not all that great for me, I don't think. Dirty poker never really going to apply to us. Let's see here. Dark Howdy is another good one that I could definitely go for. St stays at the uh, same AP cost. It's only 300. Let's go ahead and take that. Yeah. Ooh, and look how good it gets at that third level. Holy crap. Okay. And then Butterbean is a tempting one as well, because I know that reducing enemy stats could certainly make a big difference. AP cost of one is not too shabby. It's pretty cheap to upgrade right now, too. Now we'll go ahead and do that. All right, cool. That's good stuff. Well, hey, thank you very much for watching this episode of West of Loathing, folks. Please do me, do me the favor of pointing me in the right direction here, but maybe leaving a little bit of leeway for me to figure it out myself. But I'm kind of feeling like I just need to wander around on the map a little bit more, because this is so much open space, I'm sure there's a few more areas, like maybe even up in this corner over here, down here for example, like look at all this wide open area that I've got to uh, wander around and check out. So I think I'll keep doing that for now, but if I've missed something critical, 
go ahead and let me know, and I'll try to uh, follow up on that and get things done. Because I want to figure out the mystery, man. I'm very curious to find out what's going on with all this El Vibrato stuff and the Necromancer and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying. Leave a like on the video as well. And thank you very much for being here. I'll see you next time.